So I was looking on Facebook on RCs and RC videos and stuff like that because I'm in an RC group on Facebook called Traxxas Slash Community. And I'm also in other RC groups such as Traxxas, Rustler, Bandit, Stampede, and Slash owners. Yeah, pretty darn long name. But anyways, on the Traxxas Slash Community that I'm in, primarily making posts there. I was uh, looking at some videos and some posts about RCs and stuff like that and me posting some memes about RC related stuff. And then I and then I came across this post from some guy. I'm not going to point out his name because I don't want to get sued or anything like that. But anyways, um some guy on Facebook in the group uh, posted uh, something about a new Traxxas car that they're making. And I take a look at it, and it looks a lot like a short course truck, uh, or an, if you guys want to call it a trophy truck. And it has two two tires in the back, just like any trophy truck, uh, even the one Forza Horizon 3. So it has two tires in the back, and basically everything that you see is essentially a, a trophy truck, but also with an interior, which I actually find pretty impressive for a Traxxas car. And I was like, hmm. I decided to give it a post. I decided to not repost it, but like do a separate post uh, regarding that that cause. So here's the question that I was that I was asking in, into the group: Is Traxxas making a next generation slash, or in other words, is Traxxas making a slash 2.0? I mean, based on what I'm seeing on the photos looks like a next generation slash everything's all like completely new it's not like an existing slash with a different body in it or an extended Traxxas slash two-wheel drive or all-wheel drive slash where they widen the wheelbase and then they lengthen the chassis just to make it bigger to make it look like an eight or seven or even a fifth scale so so what's up with that is, is Traxxas making a Traxxas slash 2.0 and there were some people who were replying to the comment, or not replying to the comment, but replying to the post on on the RC group, and they were saying it's technically not a next generation slash because the reason for this is because they were trying to go in competition with the Axial Yeti, and you don't if you don't know the Axial Yeti, it's that one short course truck or trophy truck as most people would call it. Um, that's been in the market for for a past a past year, and I, I never driven an Axial Yeti, but I, I, based on the looks of it, I think it looks pretty awesome. But I never driven it, so don't ask me if I if I like it or not. But if you're t if you're telling me, do you think the Axial Yeti looks cool? Yes, it looks cool. But anyways, back to the slash. So Traxxas was making. It was not really making a next generation slash. They're basically making a, a, a new short course truck or trophy truck to uh, be like to be competitive with the Axial Yeti. So, yeah, a little misconception that I uh, I thought it was coming in my head. There was like because my, my mind was kind of like uh, kind of baffled because if Trax has made a Fortec 2.0 and such and such so they're already making a slash 2.0 not necessarily so a little bit of I think I got my mind straight up though but yeah um, speaking of next generation RC cars came that's coming from existing names I heard recently that Trax is making a new e Revo and I'm not too sure if this is official yet but um, that's what I heard from the RC group because everybody was talking about it. E Revo 2.0. Are they really gonna be making a new Revo? I personally never driven an E Revo before, but I'm always thinking that like, hey, the E Revo looks awesome. You know, the car looks amazing. The car is a beast. That thing is a wheelie king of eight scale insanity, kind of. But anyways, uh, Traxxas is making a. E Revo 2.0, possibly. Is Traxxas making a slash 2.0? Not necessarily. It's the car is a little bit bigger than the slash two wheel drive and all wheel drive. So, for those of you who are also thinking about it, 
it's not a slash at all. It's a completely different platform. It's a completely different um, chassis and probably completely new parts. Maybe the springs are, are are probably the same. I mean, they're probably using the same springs that they came off with the came off the X Max. I don't know, but we'll see from there. But all in all, though, Traxxas is starting to progress and it's going great, uh, in my opinion. Some people may think Traxxas is, I don't want to use the language, but some people may think Traxxas is shit, but I don't think it is. I, I think they're pretty cool. Some people don't like Traxxas because, you know, that's that incident what happened with Hobbyco and, and Arma. But all in all, though, Traxxas is Traxxas. Um, it's just all about business and competition. But basically what I'm trying to, trying to say is the new generation slash is not technically a slash. It's basically a new trophy truck that's trying to compete with the Axial Yeti. So hope that really uh, kind of like uh, opens your mind a little bit. And sorry about my rambling because I had, I had to shoot everything from the hip here. I got nothing to say. I didn't write everything down. This was all came out right out of my mouth and also what I've seen on the RC group that I'm in so yeah that's about it um, and yes I am very sorry for not making RC videos I, I do I still have my Russell running but I really want to get my slash run again uh, I, it's currently gutted and there's there's no receiver no ESC no controller no motor on my slash right now it's currently gutted so once I do get new parts for it, I will be able to run it. And and, and the Fortech 2.0 for you guys, I will be making that unboxing video. I know I kept my promise ever since the car came out, but you know, like I said in my previous video, like you can't do everything all at once. Not everything in life goes your way. So that clears up everything about the Traxxas slash 2.0 uh, situation, and. Um, I will be making some more RC videos for you guys. I promise. I'll be making more Rustler videos for you guys too. And um, yeah, that's about it. Like I said, everything is all shot from the hip. Uh, everything I said is not written down in the script or anything like that. This was all uh, done by shooting in the hip. That's all. Alright, sorry about my rambling. I gotta go.